personal finance expert, MeVest founder Leslie Ann Scorgi, joining us on Canada Now. And Leslie Ann, a recent article of yours in The Star discusses what to do with some of that extra cash that, you know, maybe one would have been so fortunate enough to obtain. Well, it is bonus season, tax refund season, commission payout season, cha-ching, right? These are all good things to have happen. And if you are one of those people that is uh, going to have a windfall of money, especially if it's a sizable amount, um, I've got an idea for you. I've got a set of guidelines for you to help you make the most of it. Uh, So don't book your trip to Vegas just yet. Wait till you hear the sidelines. <laughs> <laughs> well, and this is pretty simple because you you break things up into thirds. And th- that could change. Like, like you can change the portions of your money depending on what your needs are. You bet. So before we get into the guidelines, yeah, yeah. there's th- there I have it split into thirds, but depending on like, let's say you have a goal to make a real dent in your HELOC this year, or you know, you're going to be sending junior to university. So your priorities might need to shift a little. So take this with, um, you know, as a guideline, and then I would say adjust your portions. But the first portion that I can suggest uh, is one third into your long term savings. Yes, absolutely. So what what are those, what do you include or or define as long-term savings? So this is the, it's good for your future self part. And uh, it's your RRSP, your tax-free savings account, and possibly even your work pension. So this is where you're socking away a portion of your lump sum money toward your retirement. And then you're going to be investing that really, really well for the long term, according to your risk tolerance. And that's going to allow your nest egg, that retirement nest egg, to grow through the power of compounded interest and reinvested returns. So this is awesome. But there's one other awesome part, which is both the tools, um, the RSP, the tax-free savings account, and typically work pension, they're all tax advantaged. So it's like stretching your lump sum money even further. Well, I love that. And it, it, just remembering that this is money you cannot touch. This is money you're not going to be touching that your future self uh, in the long term is going to be taking advantage of. You look at another portion um, and, and block that off into your immediate future. Now, there's lots of different ways to go there. That's right. So I like to vision this as it's good for me right now. And I'm thinking of things that help raise you up as a person, professionally, financially, um, even uh, even just as a, a human in a relationship. Uh, these are things that are good for your well-being and your bottom line. So the first thing you want to do here is you got to get strategic. What is the need? So for example, mental health is a big deal right now. Coming out of the pandemic, hopefully for the last time, we know that only one in 10 Canadians are saying they're happy right now. Gosh, that's low. Mental health is a big deal. And so if this is a priority for you, you will want to earmark some of this money to things like counseling, yoga. Uh, You may even get a receipt for some of that counseling or... How about a sleep retreat? I'm a new parent. Gosh, I think a sleeping retreat sounds sounds like amazing, (laughs) like glorious. So I I might be doing something like that for myself. Now, let's say uh, your priority after you review it is actually the next step in your career. This might be your opportunity to direct some of this money toward uh, a course or Um, a series of courses, courses, like maybe you want to do a total career pivot. They are calling this the great resignation right now where people are saying, I am done with these terrible garbage jobs. I want to do something different. Uh, So this is where you just work on your professional next step. You may even get a tax receipt for uh, any accredited college or university courses. Mm. 
So, you know, you talk about like, uh, you, you might get a credit for this, you might get a credit for that. Is there like a one stop where people can actually know? Um, what, hey, what I, I'm, 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 I'm doing this, like, uh, can I get money back for this? I love that question because, uh-huh, there is. So Good. it's called the CRA website. And if you click under individuals and households, you'll actually get uh, right up at the top of the screen, eligible uh, credits and deductions for individuals and households. Click on there, scroll down, and you will be able to see of what you're spending money on. Are you able to, to get some of it back? And if you're still, oh, uh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, well, the key is to get a receipt, right? Okay, and right. All right. But if you're still unsure, like, can you apply anyway and go, well, I'll apply. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. They, yes, you can. Uh, but what we try to encourage people to avoid doing is uh, having your taxes reassessed. So uh, you do want to be clear about whether or not you can and or cannot file something. Okay. Because right. you don't want to go into a reassessment. So this is yeah. my pro tip. Again, if you don't have a straightforward tax situation, you should be working with a pro. Don't do this yeah. yourself. Yeah. The softwares have come a long way. They are tremendously helpful. They'll give you prompters if you are DIYing your own taxes. But I have seen it time and again. I've been in this business for over 16 years. I've seen people miss a lot <laughs> on their tax filing because you don't know. Yeah. And, and again, going back to mental health, yeah. if you can't take it on, get some help. It, 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 it doesn't hurt. It's so true. And like one of the areas I see a lot of my students spending on right now is getting their time back. So what can I do to get my time back? So it could be hiring a tax pro so that you're not doing it yourself. It could also be hiring extra nanny hours so that yes. you have a little bit of a break. Um, the other thing I would say is mental health and debt is a big deal. So it could make sense that as you're working to improve your mental health, you're taking some of this windfall money and you're just crushing one of the debts that is the, maybe the most pesky or has the most negative association with it. And you're getting rid of that. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, another portion that you look at is to actually spend money on yourself. And you kind of talked about that in terms of investing in yourself or help al helping along your mental illness. That's not what you're talking about here. No. So in this, in this category, uh, spending this last third on yourself in a fun way. So I'm talking about vacations, gifts, uh, and Honestly, I don't know what it's going to be for you or the next person. For me, I am going on vacation because yeah. <laughs> between having kids and the pandemic, we haven't been on a vacation for three years. So this is the part where you ask yourself, what's going to make me happy? So it turns out that happy people actually have better finances and those who, who tend to strike that balance between the three categories we've talked to today, the good for the long-term saving, the immediately typically good for your well-being, and then the balance, the fun part, those who can strike a balance between those three categories, they win. They're yeah. happy and yeah. they're satisfied. Uh, I suppose that is investing in yourself in, in a different kind of a way. Check out mevest.ca. Personal finance expert, me, best founder, Hank and Dot's mom, Leslie Ann Scorgey. Leslie Ann, always a pleasure, my friend. We'll do it again next week. Thanks, Jeff.